What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today, today I want to talk about the differences between the regular uh, Macrolon Lamy 2000 and the newer um, Bauhaus Special Edition Lamy 2000. Um, I've gotten quite a few questions. Oh, <laughs> I made some soap this morning. Uh, spoilers. I'm trying to become a soap maker. There's going to be more for that. Yeah, a little later. Anyways, I've gotten a lot of questions about the differences because earlier I said that there really wasn't any difference between the two. Um, but some people have pointed out in the comments that there are like little teeny tiny differences. I didn't think they were super big enough to mention, but you all are asking for it. So I'ma do it. All right, so I'm continuing on with the handheld theme because I can get way up close and personal. The two biggest things is the clip, I guess. So again, physically, they're the exact same. They're just finished ever so slightly different. So with the regular Macrolon version, it's more of a brushed finish. Um, whereas the Bauhaus version is much shinier. Um, but physically, it's the same clip. They're just slightly finished different. Um, so for the, like, for me, it, it really wasn't worth mentioning the difference. I apologize if you can hear my cat whining in the background. She wants to play, uh, which I will do immediately after filming this. But honestly, like other than that, it's identical. Like the tops are the same. Obviously the color difference. <laughs> the bottoms are the same. The actual material itself is the same pretty much it feels identical technically the blue one has a different composition than the black uh, and obviously has a different dye uh, but it feels exactly the same it's got the same texture it has the same blind cap or like piston knob there um the nibs are pretty much identical, and by pretty much, I mean <clears throat> they are identical. There's zero difference. They're completely uh, interchangeable. The like, I don't. You can't even really call this the grip section, but the like housing that the the nib and feed stay in are exactly the same. Um, pardon the sniffing. Yeah, there's like no discernible difference, really. Other than the fact that on this one, uh, I have a little bit of blue ink that's stuck in the <laughs> in the thing there that I have to clean out uh, later. But I mean, the ink windows, exactly the same. Those little clippy dudes, still exactly the same. So when I said it was identical in every way, technically speaking, for uh, for those who who've pointed it out, the clips are not identical, but everything else is. So I mean, come on. So there you go. There's the difference between the two versions of the Lamy 2000. The clip finish. <laughs> uh, if there's any other minute differences, honest to freaking goodness, I haven't seen them. I'm sure if there are some that exist, people will continue to point them out. But really, that's it. It's just the clip. Calm down. <laughs> um, functionally, they're the same. They share the same nib. You can swap them between the two. Um, you know, Nibsmith, like Dan from Nibsmith, um, I was going to say smells them individually, but, well, he could, but that would be weird. Anyway, sells them individually. I think they're overpriced, and this isn't, isn't his price setting it it's like Lamy setting that I think they're overpriced I don't think it's worth buying a separate nib uh unit um because it's almost the exact same price of the pen um so just if you want another one buy another pen but that's just me um anyway that about wraps it up for today thank you for watching I appreciate it hit that like button if you liked it hit the subscribe button if you want to see more uh every Monday and Friday there's a new video and uh the odd Pension chat Q and A uh, on Tuesdays or Thursdays. Guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.